Soldiers of the 4th Infantry Division Combat Aviation Brigade began using the new Foxtrot variant of the Chinook cargo helicopter recently. The aircraft has been a workhorse in the military since the Vietnam era, but the new variant boasts state-of-the-art technology. So with the, uh, with the Delta model, you had all analog uh, gauges, and with the, uh, with the Fox model, you can see you have five MFD screens. You can pull up uh, um, a digital attitude indicator. You can pull up moving maps, digital uh, readouts of all your instruments. It makes it a lot easier because you have uh, great situational, situational awareness with uh, where you're at and compared to uh, where you're flying to with your uh, moving map display. It has nav symbology like uh, all the airports, all the fobs, all the uh, um, waypoints that you're going to. Before each mission in the new CH-47 Foxtrots, the five-man crew conducts detailed inspections and routine maintenance. Everything from checking the internal components to wiping down the glass is done to ensure a safe trip for the crew and their cargo. Take, taking a look at the blades, taking a look at the, the fluid levels and, uh, and everything, making sure all of the uh, safeties are, are on and right, that nothing's loose. Uh, you want to make sure there's nothing uh, wrong that's going to kill you. The Chinooks in the division support the whole of multinational core Iraq by transporting supplies across the country. Uh, we support MFNI by dropping off uh, well needed supplies uh, for the units. Logistically speaking, if we don't drop off uh, supplies at night, we, uh, we can cripple other units by not having the supplies that they need to uh, complete their mission. The crew only fly at night, so darkness compounds the difficulty of their mission. But with the new glass cockpits and upgrades to pilot situational awareness, the crew feels safe while traveling through the skies of Iraq. I don't get nervous because I looked at the aircraft. I spent three hours looking at the aircraft, and uh, the more you, the more you fly, the more you get used to it. So uh, I'm more concerned about the crew on the aircraft, making sure my crew is not getting hurt, not doing something wrong. As far as getting nervous, uh, there's times where you get nervous, but never on takeoff. I'm usually pretty confident when we're taking off from my aircraft that we're going to return home safely. After only about two months of using the new variants, the crew was unanimous in saying the new helicopter was more stable, easier to pilot, and far safer than its predecessor. Reporting from Multinational Division Baghdad Public Affairs, I'm Specialist Lucas Waisaki.